What are you doing? Are you comparing them? Yes. Shouldn't you, you think we should draw a line right here that divides the two cups? Feel those marks that are already on there. That's what those are. There aren't marks on there. That one is it says half pint, and we're gonna put braille on it. I flip the flip it around and feel the other side. That one has ounces. What's this one have? And that one has cups. So how many marks are on that one? Two. So there are two cups in the pint. Let's see on the court. Where's the cups? So that one is the cup side. And we'll put braille on them. Right now they're just in raised print. Let's see cups on this. These look like milk cartons. Exactly. So is that like the milk carton you use at school? Yes, it's that ours are made out of cardboard. Oh yeah? So how much milk do you drink with your lunch? One cup. One cup, right. What if you get an extra milk? Then how much do you drink? One pint. Right on. So if Daddy was there and he drank four milks, how much milk would he drink? One quart. <laughs> I believe you got it. Well, I bet what I would do. I would drink one cup. You, I would drink one milk. You drink two. Daddy would drink four. Do you get extra milks? Sometimes. Sometimes. So sometimes you drink a pint of milk at lunch. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. So what do you think? We add braille to them. Does that make it easier? Yes. And we should also use these to measure instead of using the measuring cups. Well, they're the same as the measuring cups, so I don't know where our measuring cups are right now. So why those are just used. Those are used to learn to measure liquids, so that you can understand the difference between quarts, pints, and cups. So if we were making a cake and it said half a pint, we would. Cup. Right. Pour what we need in, then pour it out. Exactly. And you would just have to make sure that it was the amount you put in there matched where that little touchy feely line, the top little line is, where it says one cup. Or one quart, one pint. Show us how much is a gallon? Two quarts? A gallon? Yeah, how am I going to feel that? Yeah, it's got a lot on it, so we have to figure that out. So a gallon is eight pints, or four quarts. So if you had four of those quarts, you could fill that bottle up, that gallon jug. And so it has a lot of marks on it. And I have to figure out how to mark it. Why can't you get one that was square? Oh, we are. We're going to use one of the Costco ones, and I'm going to see if I can put... And it's going to be square, like these? Mm-hmm. It, well, it's not exactly square, but it's kind of square. I'm just I'm trying to find things that we can put Braille labels on easy, easier. So if you put dark-colored liquid in there, like food coloring and water where it was dark colored this looks do you like think a milk you have jug. enough vision to be able to see it this looks like a milk jug yep and that's because a milk jug we buy milk in one gallon quantity so half a gallon so here's we... half a gallon so when we get a half gallon of milk it's a little smaller than a gallon but a little bit bigger than a quart so there are eight cups in a half gallon. And 
16 in this? Yes. So if I got 16 of these cups and just sliced off this top and then kept putting them in there, would it fit perfectly? Yep. How many inches is a cup? Wait, no. 